Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today we'll solve a problem on the concept of weighted average. Today is our lesson number 95. Here's the problem on the here's the problem. It is already on the blackboard. We're going to mail 12 packages. Of course, in the real exam. The question is going to be presented to you in a very elaborate manner and in a little bit of a more intimidating manner. But that is, this is the nub of the question. Do you understand? This is the essence. This is the nub of the nub of the problem. What we are told is that we are mailing 12 packages. We are told that the four of those packages had four packages with un. It should say, I left out the article. Four packages with four packages with an average with an average of 12 and a half pounds we mail eight more packages with an average of 12 and a quarter pound so eight of them had an average average weight of 12 and a quarter pound four of them had the average weight of 10 and a half pound the question is very simple very straightforward the question simply is what's the overall average and here are the five answer choices 11 and a quarter 11 one third 11 and a half 11 and two third and 11 three quarter what i want you to do right now is to pause the video do the problem yourself i insist on that once you have done it, and then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. Do you understand? You will always learn, you will always get more out of it if you do it that way. I'll give you five seconds to, to be able to pause and, read, pause and unpause the video. Well, here's what's going on. We can't take the... We can't simply take the average of these two numbers. That's, that's the ordinary average. If you take the average of these two numbers simply, that assumes that we have the same number of packages. We have different weights. The weights are different, hence the weighted average. We have four of these, so we need to multiply four times that quantity right here, 10, 10 and a half. And then we have eight of these packages plus eight times this quantity, 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. And then we need to divide that by the number of packages, which is eight packages here and four packages here. We have 12 packages. We'll worry about that later. Let's, fig let's first figure out what this amount is, okay? There we go. Here's how it, here's how it goes. Four times 10, four times 10 is 40. And if what happens if you have four halves? Well, that's very easy. Two halves make a one. Four halves will make a two. Four halves make a two. That's what it is. Four times half. Four halves make a two. Let's continue. And here we have 8 times 12. How much is 8 times 12? Well, don't look at me. How the hell do I know? Eight times, I don't know. Well, let's, I know 8 times 10 is 80. That I do know. 8 times 10 is 80. And then 8 times 2 is 16. So here we have 10 eights and here we have 2 eights. That, that, that takes care of 12 eights. That part is done. Let's move on then. And then we have 8 quarters. How much is 8 quarters? Now that I do know. If I have 8 quarters, that's 2 dollars. Because four quarters, four quarters make a dollar. Four quarters make one. So if I have eight quarters, four quarters will make one, and other four quarters will make another one. I don't know why I'm being so childish. It's a two. That's it. Maybe just have to simply add them up. Eighty plus sixteen is ninety-six. Okay, let me get the pointer so I can point to things that I, I'm speaking. Eighty plus sixteen is ninety-six. Stay with me in this story. Eighty plus sixteen is eighteen. Eighty plus sixteen is ninety-six. 96 plus 2 is 98, 98 plus 2 is going to be 100, isn't that nice? Plus the 40 is 140, 140 divided by the total number of packages, we have 4 packages here, 8 packages here, we need to divide that by 12. So the final answer is 140 divided by 12, which we're going to do on the top. We are almost there, okay? As I said, stay with me in the story, it's very important. 140 divided by 12. 140 divided by 12. How many 12 does 1 have? 1 has no 12. 1 has no 12. That one goes and joins the 4 and becomes 14. How many 12 does 14 have? 14 has 1 12. 14 has 1 12. The remainder 2, remaining 2, goes to 0. Remaining two, uh, the, the remainder 2 goes to 0 and becomes a 20. Again, one more time. 14 has 1 12. The remaining 2 goes to 0 and becomes a 20. How many 12s does 20 have? How many 12s does 20 have? 20 has 1 12. 20 has 1 12. Once you take away 12 from the 20, we have a remainder of 8. That remainder of 8 needs to be divided by 12. So the final answer is 
I'm going to write it one more time, 11 and 8 twelfths. But of course we cannot leave it like this, we cannot leave it as 11 and 8 twelfths, we need to reduce it, which boils down to 11 and, we divide top and bottom by 4, we end up with 2 thirds. Voila. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.